Hi guys, uh, this is day two. It is Tuesday. This is day two of my uh, week of vlog, exposure vlogs. This is starting well. Okay, the camera just moved because the cat ran into the tripod. He's so gonna try and do it again. Oh my God, why? I'm not, oh, fuck, stop, stop it, it's not a toy. <laughs> this one's the, oh for fuck's sake, okay, wait. I'm so fucking stressed. I'm really shiny because I was just out. It's raining like a monsoon and I'm very hot because for some reason the air conditioning doesn't seem to be working properly. Okay, gonna try and get to my point because uh, I have to leave really soon for my appointment. Ah, point, appointment. <laughs> I'm in such a mess, guys. I'm in such a mess. Okay, basically, day two of my sleep Oh fuck, I still haven't given it a word. My sleep schedule change went terribly. So I feel like a complete failure because basically last night, don't even think about it, dude. It's not a toy. Please, please. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. This will be attractive. Uh, yeah, last night we were up and until 2 a.m. filling in paperwork for something extremely important and it took forever. I mean, we've been working on this for months and months and months and months. And when I finally mail it, I have it here. I'm gonna mail this today and it doesn't look as big as it is. Like it's so heavy and so thick. It's like, I reckon a kilo's worth of paperwork, okay. Um, when I mail that, I'm probably going to burst into tears in the post office just because it will be such a relief to have it gone and filled in and done. It's just horrible the amount of stress it's caused both of us. So we were up until two doing that. I'm supposed to go to bed at 12 and go to sleep at two. Yeah. So it gives me two hours to do my YouTube reading, whatever in bed. Okay. That's my chill time, my relaxed time. That's just what I do. I know you're not supposed to take electronics into the bedroom. Just. This isn't a you, this is a, the, the prospect of cutting off my electronics straight away. Um, hopefully I'll get to that stage one day, but that's just how, that honestly, I can't get to sleep unless I watch a few YouTube videos or read some blogs or something. I tried the, not last night, but the night before, I went straight, like I turned all the lights off at two, hadn't watched anything, hadn't read anything, couldn't get to sleep. I could not get to sleep for an hour. So... I was like, it's probably better just to watch a video. It will get me a bit dozy because it's like my bedtime story and then I'll go to sleep. But the problem was is that we weren't getting into bed till 2 a.m. So I ended up watching one video and then another video and another video. Ended up going to sleep at three. Didn't wake up till 12. <laughs> I just realized it's like a cat on my shoulder. I never notice these things whilst I'm recording and then I watch it back and there's always like a cat somewhere in the background and I'm always like completely unaware. Which one is that? That's the big one. <laughs> Staring at his food bowl, just like, where the fuck's my food? Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm feeling really disappointed, even though there was like a, have I gone really wonky now? What does it matter? Um, because there was a solid reason as to why I had had to stay up. You know, we had to get this done. So I've, I've got to give myself a break, but I, I, mm, I'm so, <sighs> What's that word? It's like perfectionist, but not control freak. I'm such a control freak when it comes to things like time, okay? I get really OCD about time. So because I have failed in keeping to my schedule of 2 a.m. and 11 a.m., I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, I've just gone one hour, so 3 a.m. and 12. <laughs> this is gonna make no sense. Okay, it, I feel like I failed. And this is only day two. Um, mother half's like you haven't failed there was something that happened life is going to happen you know you can't always be perfect about you know these things but it just feels like every time i try and do this sleep thing some something happens to throw me off and then i just kind of give up you know like not intentionally but subconsciously something just kind of goes well you're gonna fail and fuck it up so why bother and then i find myself watching videos until 4am so Tonight <laughs> will be the test to see if I can make myself go back to sticking to it. The only reason I'm kind of, I woke up really depressed, <laughs> of course, um, 
just because I, I generally do, but I woke up especially depressed because I realised what the time was. And I was like, are oh, you failure? You fucking failure. Because I've got my schedule written out, like my time schedule written out for the day next to my bed. So I woke up and immediately looked at it and went, <sighs> so what I'm doing is writing down the times I'm actually doing the stuff that I've written down to try and figure out where I'm putting too much stuff in my day so that I stop over scheduling. Does that make sense? I'm putting too much down. I'm thinking I can achieve more than I can achieve in the time I have. So, and then I obviously feel like a failure. So I'm going to try and not do that. Uh, and the only way to do that is to figure out how long things actually take me to do because I do move a lot slower than I think I do or other people do. And when I say move, I mean like just even making a cup of tea takes me twice as long as anyone else. I don't know why, I'm just a bit of a snail. Uh, or sloth, a bit more attractive. Yeah, a sloth's more attractive than a snail, right? <laughs> I don't know, snails are cute. Yeah. Where am I going with this? Okay, I have to leave because I have therapy and that is an exposure in itself. To, so today's exposure will be going to therapy in this disgusting weather <laughs> and posting this, which of course involves me going to a post office, which I hate and queuing for ages, getting really fucking nervous probably. And then also being emotional about the fact that this is what I'm posting. Uh, yeah, so that's actually going to be a really big deal, even though it doesn't sound like it's a big deal. It is for me. It's so loaded with emotions, the envelope. Okay, I'm going to shut up and go because I'm probably running late. I can't see a clock. Oh, look, there's one. Fuck, I'm running really late. And the cat's still there, so I think I should give him some nibbles. Okay, see you in a bit. So, I'm out of therapy now. It was okay. And now it's really, really sunny, <laughs> which is ridiculous because it was so wet earlier. Um, now I'm going to go and post this incredibly important parcel. Uh, I started freaking out about posting this thing. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's so fucking important. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's only been like five minutes since I last filmed, but... Within that time, I've managed to get myself really worked up and I don't know why, I just feel really like crying a lot and I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this by myself. I feel like this is something we should be doing together. Me and mother half, not me and the internet. <laughs> so, I'm home now, obviously, and yeah, I really, <laughs> didn't handle that very well. Um, I don't know what happened. I did not realise I was that worried about posting this item. I know it's because of the importance of the item, but it's like I couldn't have done anything wrong. Like it was just taking it to the post office and posting it. But for some, I don't know if it's just the months and months and months of worry and stress surrounding the thing that I had to post, it's really important. So I don't know if it's just like a culmination of like nine months plus of worry just suddenly pouring out at the post office. Well, just before. Because that is what will happen, you know. <laughs> it will come out whenever it wants. But yeah, I have really... Well, I didn't have a panic attack, but I was pretty close. It was not nice. Um... And I was messaging my friends on kick and stuff, you know, because I was like, I'm freaking out, man. I'm fucking freaking out. Oh, my God. Can you just talk to me for a bit sort of thing? Because my other half was still at work, so I couldn't speak to him. And I was texting him and he wasn't texting me back because he was way too busy, it turned out. And I was like, ah. And I was just shaking the whole time I was like talking to the girl. I was just, I, I, I could like hardly press the buttons on the keypad to pay for it. Oh, God. I just, I just, Yeah had a mini meltdown, messaged some people, thankfully some of them were available to talk to me for a little bit and yeah, I kind of just took my, I thought I'll just go around like um, the makeup bit in the drugstore, try and find something nice for yourself even if it's like just swatching stuff on your hand, you know, it might distract you and I was doing it and I was listening to my music, but I, it wasn't working. And I was just like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. You know, I just couldn't stop kind of... And then my other half did ring me, like, about 
40 minutes after I text him or something. And I was like so mad, like I couldn't help myself. When I get panicky and anxious, I also get really angry. I don't know why. And I never mean to be angry towards anyone, but I just get, I think it's like defensive. That's the right word. I get really defensive about everything. And it doesn't matter what you're saying to me, unless you're kind of saying to me, here, Jess, here's a cave. You can go in it. There's some cake and there's some lemonade and there's a big duvet and blanket in there. You know, (laughs) unless you're going to basically put me into Wonderland, I'm just going to be like, like a, like a trapped bear in a corner which is exactly what really what panic feels like, you know, like trapped. So, yeah, <laughs> it was horrible. I was kind of not shouting at him on the phone, but I was like, I don't want to talk about it. I can't fucking talk about it. <laughs> you didn't text me back. Oh, my God, I really needed you. I honestly I act like a monster. And he's really good with it because he understands what's happening and that I've got all the stuff going on and that I'm not meaning to be angry at him. So <sighs> still makes me feel really guilty, though. I hate treating people that way. So I did end up buying, um, what did I buy? Not a lipstick, but like a lip balm thing. Didn't make me feel any better. (laughs) Uh, And then I actually had to go and get groceries. That was the only reason I didn't go straight home after the post office. Oh, my arm's getting really tired. I'm so weak. Um, (laughs) Should have done this on a tripod. I actually did go and get my tripod, which is why everything's moved. And why am I wonky? Um, and now the sound's probably changed a bit, so sorry about that if I haven't corrected it. Where was I? Shopping. Groceries. So, I managed to go and do the groceries, but the whole time I was like... Basically, I just needed to have a massive cry, and actually I still haven't. Um, because I can't... <laughs> it's going to sound really silly, but I wanted to come and finish this video first. <laughs> before I had a massive cry and just kind of got all puffy and disgusting um normally i can't control that normally i will just have a massive cry another thing that happens when i'm panicky or anxious is i move even slower than normal when i'm trying to get tasks done so i was doing the shopping and it was taking me forever and i was literally buying well i ended up buying like 10 items i don't know and it took me half an hour because i'm just pushing the trolley around like <laughs> where's the butter i can't remember you know because my memory goes as well and i can't remember things as well as i normally can so i mean obviously i've calmed down now but i'm still i'm sure that in about half an hour everything will just explode and i'll just cry a lot especially because i've had therapy like every day that i have therapy i will always cry at some point during the evening and it won't even be about a specific thing it will just be that a lot of emotions were brought up during the session and then they decide to release themselves at a random moment during the evening and I won't be able to say why I'm crying. I'll just be like, I'm, I'm a really ugly crier. I know people like laugh it and they go, oh, you know, it's a saying, isn't it? You know, I'm an ugly cry, but I really am. I, like, I can't breathe when I'm crying. It's horrible. Anyway, I'm going to do my little round up and finish this off and say... Today was a tough one, and yes, I was very tired, like I said in yesterday's video. I was so exhausted today, and I still am. Like, physically, my body just feels like it just wants to lie down all the time. Okay, so my exposures or achievements of the day. Like I said in yesterday's video, this is not me showing off, this is just me documenting. I don't even know how I can class it as showing off, but for some reason in my mind I've made this fucking thing up in my mind that because I'm trying to say that I did something that I consider an achievement that that is somehow being arrogant and showing off. I know I said exactly the same thing in yesterday's video but in case somebody hasn't seen it I'm saying it again. I shall try and stop myself saying it and just be proud of what I've done. You see how I'm shutting my eyes that means I don't believe what I'm saying. (laughs) It's like I'm just lying to you. (laughs) It's horrible. Um, Yeah okay so what did we do? We went to the coffee shop and I tried to be oh god you know I used to be so eloquent yeah I used to actually be able to speak properly and form sentences and know what I was saying and I don't know if it's the medication or the anxiety or the depression or a combination of everything but now it's like my words have gone and my ability to string a sentence together 
it used to really upset me and now I'm just kind of used to it but I can never say what I want to say in the way I want to say it <laughs> and now I've forgotten what I was gonna say <laughs> which is exactly what I mean I think it's to do with memory I think either medication or the actual anxiety itself or I know the anxiety affects the memory like especially when you've got when you're in a high highly anxious state so I guess I am still recovering from that like from today yeah I've totally lost my place uh, I was trying to say I'm just gonna say what I was like I can't say what I want to say I was trying to be good at the time management thing I was trying to manage my time effectively oh god <laughs> I was trying to be responsible and realize like yesterday with the taxi that I didn't have time to eat breakfast at home and go to Starbucks and come back again and make my appointment on time so I made the decision to have breakfast at Starbucks so that I didn't have to miss out on the social aspect of going to Starbucks um yeah <laughs> that's all I was trying to say the only problem is you know obviously I can't do these things very frequently because they do cost extra money it's not like obscene money but it's not like I can do that all the time but I can do it on days when if I have an appointment that I have to be at and I've fucked up my time somehow you know I can sometimes afford to do that otherwise I have to not go out at all I have to stay at home have my breakfast and then go to my appointment which seems to set me up for a really bad day like if I don't go out for my coffee and don't just be like just being around people in the shop even if there's no one there that I know just helps me because it's my little routine and going to the park afterwards and having a sit down if I don't do that it tends to mess up my whole day so I kind of prioritize doing that but sometimes I do just stay at home and have my breakfast here and my coffee here and I hate having my coffee at home so much um it tastes well it's not that it tastes bad it's just I anyway different video went to the park even though it was pouring with rain but I didn't mind too much because I have my umbrella um and then I vlogged I got to my appointment on time I went on a bus that wasn't really nice it was really busy went to therapy went posted the thing <laughs> got through that somehow um oh god it was horrible uh did the groceries and now i am at home talking to you i feel like i still did an awful lot today and now i'm going to chill the fuck out what time is it it's already 7 30 in the evening and my other half said we could get dinner in because you know to kind of celebrate sending this thing off maybe watch the sopranos I've only just started watching The Sopranos like for the first time ever so don't tell me anything about it but we've kind of run out of TV to watch so we're kind of going back to older stuff yeah so I'm gonna finish it there and I <laughs> you don't know how badly I keep uh, going to say I'm gonna wrap it up there like um, if any of you watch Essie Button on YouTube and um, it's only because I watched like all her videos um, in July she did a video every other day so I think that's what it is, is I've watched so much of her recently that it's got into my head to say, like, wrap it up at the end of the video. And I'm like, no, 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 stop it, stop it. Stop trying to do that. <clears throat> I keep going, oh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. And she does that with her hand, you know, wrap it up. And I'm like, that's literally doing exactly what someone else is doing. Just stop it. <laughs> Just say, I'm finishing now. Goodbye, thank you. Can't do it, can I? Hopefully I will be able to get to bed properly tonight at the right time and get up tomorrow and then I will film tomorrow as well because now I've done two days I want to do all five days of the week yeah so thank you for watching and if you're interested I will try and post a link down below to yesterday's video <clears throat> um maybe tomorrow's video because I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading stuff but yeah if you fancy checking that out I would um be very happy that you wanted to um <laughs> so awkward i should just do a whole video about how awkward it is to end videos because i don't know about you but i find it so awkward and difficult i don't know why but let me know if uh if you find it awkward or hard <laughs> or what part of the videoing video ugh, what part of the filming process you find the most awkward or difficult or whatever okay thank you very much for watching and i hope to see there <laughs> I am dying here. <laughs> Thank you.
you very much for watching and I hope you come back soon. Bye! Don't leave me because I'm being such a swat.